for the attack with GIMP 2.10 where I am going to show you a how-to on using the GIMP tools. There's a free download for GIMP 2.10 and the links below. Be sure to check it out if you are avid with Photoshop. This will be a breeze. So you'll pick it right up. I have selected a paintbrush, the paintbrush tool, along with the brush stroke smoke and sized it up to about 500 or so. Opacity all the way off and black, white, and gray. like puffy white clouds and I'm just going to fill this background up with some puffy white clouds and I need to hide some layers or work around them you can come back to that layer you will be working in multiple layers it is always advised that you create new layers to work in and hide the ones that you don't want in the end so, get used to using lots of layers. I'm just opening up this black background inside the smoke now. And I'm getting ready to find my image that I'll paste in here. I had to resize the image. Select all. Copy. Now paste the image into the black background. I'm going to find my scale button next. One second. This takes a minute. I haven't used GIMP in a while. So looking for the scale tool to use to scale this picture to size. Uh, here we go. Now. Select the image and stretch and scale your image that you pasted into the background. Set it nice and even. Center it. And I might even get rid of uh, the new font here and work with some other font. So, paste it in there now. I hide that layer again. It seems to be bothersome. Next up, you want to go back to the back background and paint paint through this uh, text that we're going to change out. So I'm just give me one second. Clean this up a little. Match it. blend it and then I'm going to be looking for my text tool afterwards to apply some new text in here a new text layer or work with the old one that I had now you can install different texts into GIMP along with brushes. There are certain Photoshop brushes that you can install in GIMP and use in GIMP as well. So now I think I'm ready to add a new text layer or work in the background. So again, I'm just trying to get the feel of things. It's been a while, and this is, uh, I just downloaded GIMP 2.10 myself. <clears throat> it's a newer version of GIMP, which I'm familiar with, or older version. And here we go. I've got some text centered and aligned. Use the alignment tool to align it. And I'm just going to try to move the tool, find a selection tool to move it 
move the font around some. This is a doom metal member of the doom metal community, a musician known for playing doom metal. So we are going to try to get this font and everything looking spickety span. There we go. And voila, you have new font as well. Now, if I've moved too fast for you, it's always suggested that you work and gimp yourself and get familiar with, you know, creating a new rectangle image just to create a background uh, using your paint. That's how I taught myself. Before there were YouTube videos and everything else, I taught myself how to use GIMP pretty much alone and filling around hours and hours of it. So I suggest you do the same because everything's different and there's 10 ways to do one effect. There's And this is Photoshop that I'm really familiar with. And they also have different tools that GIMP doesn't have such as this um, uh, the layer blend, layer styles. I'm not seeing that. I'm trying to look to see if they're similar. That's probably something I can also add to the program files. And you would add the brushes to the program files by going to your folder, selecting C drive, your C drive, then select program files, find the git 2.10. And that's the folder you're going to be installing the brushes and the text and hopefully the layer styles into the program files of GIMP 2.10 once you have it installed. So I'm just cleaning this up, coming to a closing. I think I'm finding out I have um, blended the two pictures fairly well, and you can't even tell that there were two pictures. Um, you zoom a lot. You know, you need to zoom in and out of your work. So you can double check things that you wouldn't see on a printed version if you were going to print this. Um, that's another tool that you want to just get the fill for. And as you can see, I'm still just getting the fill of things and trying new things. That's the beauty in um, what you can do. And there's just limitless possibilities to work. So there you have it. Come back again and see me soon.